Hello everyone, and welcome. Today I'm going to be going through the patch 3.5 notes for Final Fantasy XIV. Remember to uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell button, guys, so that you're notified of content I make. So, anyway, so, um, basically patch 3.5 is the last major patch before the expansion, um, Stormblood, and there will be a 3.55 to round up the story and stuff like that, but, um, for now, let's just see what 3.5 has to offer, and link in the description. By the way, guys, this, these patch notes are really, really, really long. I will not read them all, I will just skim through them and give my thoughts on them. So... Pleased to announce the patch 3.5 notes. The patch is called The Far Edge of Fate. Okay. So, playable content, quest, treasure, hunt, housing, battle system, item system, resolved issues, there's face, grand companies, gold, sorcerer updates, so on. As with other patches released after 3.0, patch 3.5 contains content that can only be accessed by registering like Heaven Sword, la 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 Okay, next. So, three new main scenario quests. And God, what, why is she still? Yida still wearing her mask. Like I would have thought she would have taken it off by now. And then we're gonna get new. These are the new quests which involve finishing the alliance raid. So we had the weeping or the wiping city of Mach. So this will lead on to the next section. We have the warring triad, which I'm guessing is for the new uh, trial quest. We have the continuation of the Solistula quest, which is just um, a distraction side quest. A more Hildebrand quest. And um, carrying on the Anima quest. Okay, so let's see. The Anima quests added in this patch allow players to enhance their job specific animal weapons how players choose to enhance their weapons is completely up to them animal weapon quests employ a system which will require players to proceed using the same class of job with which they have accepted a quest completing duties with a shot and animal weapon equipped will increase your animus weapons etheric condensation so yeah i mean me personally i think the anima quest in this game has become so boring to a point of I don't want to play the game anymore because of how boring it is so I'm not going to read this I don't care um, new beast tribe quests have been added cool and I, I, hopefully this will wrap up the beast tribe quests of heaven's ward the way they wrap them up in a realm reborn like friends forever if you look it up on my youtube channel was a great way to wrap up the a realm reborn beast tribe quests and um, okay new side quests let's see somehow okay this is to unlock um, the new dungeons basically and the new primals and fiery wings fiery hearts players must first complete my sorry oh, I've, I've obtained okay so this must be like a new um, mount for getting all of the bird mounts in the expansion the amount of exp gained from 15 to 50 disciples of hand and land quests have been increased Woo, crafting so basically it just means that leveling up to 50 uh, crafting and gathering will be easier um, from now on because uh going forward basically we're gonna be unlocking 60 to 70 soon so if 1 to 50 remains difficult as much as 50 to 60 then 1 to 70 will be an impossible task when you play it so they had to nerf it eventually okay fates have been adjusted as follows the rate at which the following fates appear has been increased cool steel rain now behold behemoth Long live the coral and pray online. So that's basically Odin and Behemoth ones. I guess they want more people to be able to take part in those. Uh, pray online's time limit has been changed from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay. Location of it's not lupus has been adjusted, and Acuban's HP has been lowered. Okay. The location of one prince has been adjusted. The algorithm for selecting duties from duty roulette when registering as a party has been adjusted. So basically, hopefully, you won't get the same dungeon every single day for a month in a row. Okay, treasure hunt. So additions and adjustments have been made and rewards were accomplished as follows. New items, drop rate has been increased. Okay, additions have been made for the rewards obtainable from the maps. Okay, grand companies. New classable items have been added to the company workshop. Cool. I mean, yeah, if you like that stuff, go for it. Um, and then the window displayed when exchanging 
seals for items when talking to the Grand Company Master has been redesigned. Okay, it looks a bit more, a bit nicer. So, let's see. Additional adjustments have been made to the Adventurer Squadrons. The Squadrons section of the Adventurer Squadrons menu now displays a maximum limit for the value of the squadron out of player's rank. Okay. So, I skip through the squadron system. Players now be able to turn off squadron status updates during cutscenes in the same way they turn off system messages. The time limits for their priority missions are now clearly displayed both before beginning missions and after completing them. The default cursor position has been changed from OK to cancel and yes to no for the following confirmation messages. When you want to change squadron chemistry, when you when the squadron sergeant cancels a mission, when the when cancelling training on the regiment board. Okay. So the following items can now be purchased from the resident caretakers um, in each of the residential districts. So forever friends furnishing. Okay. Following item can now be purchased from the IOC quartermaster of each grad company in exchange for credits. Outdoor furnishing. Okay. Housing. Okay, so adjustments have been made to apartments as follows. Players can now select the go to your own apartment option even when they are in other players' apartments. Delivery moogles can now be found in the apartment lobbies. Okay, a bit more convenient. Picture frames which allow you to hang up paintings have been added. Cool. So you can now hang up paintings, which is pretty good. So different types of pictures, different sizes. Selecting a picture will allow the player to choose which painting to display. Okay, so they want more from the pictures and, uh, that you can get in the game. Because at the moment, there isn't many at all. So they want to expand this system, basically. Remove paintings will be permanently discarded. Okay, so be wary of that. Players can now purchase paintings from the Joyous Painter, uh, NPC in Idleshire. Players are now able to sell and purchase paintings on the market board. Players can check what paintings they have for sale in the paintings section of the housing category of the market board. Number of paintings for sale will increase when you obtain the following achievements. So basically, do the sightseeing log if you want all the pictures. So I might make another video. I have made videos in the past about the sightseeing log. Um, but I might make some new ones to cover um, 1 to 80. Um, and then let's see. Preview paintings. Players can view paintings before they purchase them by selecting the preview subcommand after selecting the painting name. Uh, paintings can be previewed in the following menu. Shops, market boards, items linked in the log window and inventory. Okay. New furnitures have been added. Okay. New harvestable crops have been added. Uh, saplings can be purchased from the following NPCs. The following items that allow players to employ material suppliers, junk mongers and armor menders will with new appearances have been added. Oh nice, so you can make them look different, basically. Okay, to help facilitate the remodeling of estates and apartments, the following NPCs now sell estate-related items. Okay, new aquarium fishes have been added. Cool. New aquarium interior items have been added. Cool. Gold saucer adjustments have been made to triple try tournaments as follows. They'll give that a read if you care. New cards have been added. Cool. Uh, following additions and adjustments have been made to the Wondrous Tales. Completing any floor of the Palace of the Dead will uh, complete the relevant Wondrous Tale objectives. Uh, previous requirements have been removed from Frontline. Players can now complete the relevant Wondrous Tale objective by participating in any Frontline campaign. Okay, so they've simplified that because I guess people didn't want to queue specific ones, aka some of them are never ever available. So Alexander the Creator has been added to the Wondrous Tales. New hairstyles have been added. New emotes have been added. New structures have been added. So Idleshire, to be honest, at this point, Idleshire should be basically complete. Um, players can now change their eggy outward appearance. So this is only, for, I believe, for summoners. I don't think it works for... Um, scholars, I'm afraid, from what I've seen. To ensure the execution of actions requires special status effects, the timing with which these status effects are applied or removed has been adjusted. In addition, we have made adjustments to prevent connect connectivity issues which resulted in Mudras failing to activate. Okay, so new dungeons have been added. Uh, Balsar's Wall. Okay, so you need to be item level 230 for player dungeon. 
and you get in by doing a certain part of the story as well. So we don't know which part of the story yet, but I, one thing I always do when there's major patches, the first thing I do always is finish the main story. So obviously I'll do it again this time as well. And there's a somehow hard mode. Okay, new trials have been added. Okay. And okay. And then Dunscape, a new alliance raid has been added. Obviously, like I said, this is the final part of the um, of the dungeon. Okay, so as I said, this is a new part, the final part of the 24-man raids after wiping City of Wipe. So, yeah, and hopefully we'll see a nice ending to the story as well. And you do it once a week and get rewards and so on. What's the iron level requirement for this? 235. So it'd be 235 and above to get into that. Uh, Machi Matter will no longer be obtainable in Weeping City of Mac, but can now be obtained in Dunscape. The drop rates from the Warring Lana Whistle, basically all the whistles, has been increased. Players will now be able to trade with NPC Bertana in Idle Shower for the above items. Okay. The players will now receive the power of Echo in the event all party members are incapacitated during the following trials. Okay. Fair enough. So the limitation on certain rewards for Alexander has been removed. Which basically means you can farm Alexander over and over again now. Um, and get the rewards as much as you like. It's basically, this is how they wind down content before an expansion. Because the content is going to be completely worthless. Give it like a few months. So... They might as well just start giving it out for free. The strength of Echo granted in Alexander Midas Savage has been increased. Again, to make it easier for people to get it done before the expansion. The duties listed within the duty finder has been reorganized as follows. So the expert roulette has the latest two dungeons. And the current two dungeons have been added to the level 60 dungeons roulette, basically. Okay. And then the following due has been added to roulettes, roulettes, updated, blah, blah, blah. As we know, it's always the same. Players adjust, the following adjustment has been made to the Palace of the Dead. Players can now check item help text when appraising a piece of a cursed hoard by hovering over the item icon. The maps for certain passageways connecting to rooms containing the came of, oh, sorry, the Khan of Return and the Khan of Passage have been adjusted for visibility. Okay, the following adjustment has been made to certain content of this patch. Players will temporarily be unable to embark on exploratory missions to the diadem. Okay, following adjustments have been made to frontline PvP. Wicked. So the following adjustments have been made to the Wolf's Den. Amazing. So Wolf Marks have been upgraded. New 235 PvP gear has been added. So if you're into PvP, go for it. Okay, next the amount of Wolf Marks have been needed for trade of pvp gear has been lowered the following adjustments have been made to the spectator mode the following adjustments have been made to jewels the players will now be able to sync their item level when requesting a jewel sync item levels to the lowest sync item level to 150 do not sync item level the recast time of skills will be reset when jewel commences the counter will for resistance of status this days of afflictions will be reset when starting a jewel once the duel commences, players will be unable to attack striking enemies. Okay, so... One just may be made to the Chocobo Companions. Players can now access the following while the Chocobo Companion is summoned. Duty Finder, Deep Dungeon, Instant Quest Battles, Raid Finder, Aquapolis, Hall of the Novice. You cannot enter an instance with your Chocobo Companion. The summoning time for Chocobo Companions will be paused upon entering... An instance and resume when you return to your world. That means basically you won't burn the timer. Or you won't waste your guys or greens by leaving your chocobo outside. This feature is about two years late. So, but whatever. At least it's now coming in. So, um, players can now undertake the following duties while their chocobo companion is summoned. Grand Company leaves and leaves. Players can now access chocobo porters where their chocobo companion is summoned. Players can now summon their Chocobo Companion in a full party. That's pretty cool. Um, players are now possible to invite players who have summoned Chocobo Companions to join a party. 
that's also so these are convenient so it's a, it's a convenient thing to basically make your chocobo companion more into your group and i personally have actually already finished leveling my chocobo companion to level 20 so uh, we will see in the expansion if they raise the item cap new items have been added okay new crafting recipes have been added following adjustments have been made to crafting recipes okay and then the effects of the following items have been changed so read that at your own leisure the following items can now be crafted without a specialization again uh, winding down before the expansion the number of sacks of camper created from a single synthesis has been increased from one to three okay winding down winding down UI category following items have been changed and so on tradable items available from the foundation players should be able to consume food uh, item which is already under its effects the duration of the effects will be extended okay cool if we gain from crafting and gathering has been increased from levels 1 to 55 oh it said 1 to 50 earlier in the patch notes now it's saying 1 to 55 but whatever um following gathering items no longer classified as hidden or rare okay the following addition has just been made to fishing new big fish have been added players will now be able to fish for the following fishes regardless of prevailing weather conditions so that's made it a bit easier success rates from catching the following fish using a giant crane fly bait have been adjusted success rates for catching the following fish using a brute leash have been adjusted the amount of time it takes to catch an amber salamander has been adjusted new items have been added to certain NPC shops the following adjustments have an Additions have been made to Rowena's House of Splendors. Additional items will now be accepted at the Splendor Exchange for this Eyeballs of Land. The following items will always be accepted at the Splendor Exchange. The number of Red Gatherer script rewarded in exchange for the following items have been increased. Okay, the item NAF Forax has been changed to VAF Forax. New Chocobo Barding. Cool. New Mounts. New Minions. New achievements have been added. So I, I, I took a quick look through these achievements. Some of them interesting us here. It's like cra craft and recall completion of 300 unique recipes. So if you've ever followed my crafting guides, you know, I encouraged you back then to make one of every single item for the EXP bonus you get for the first time completion of the craft. If you've been doing this whole time, then you're welcome. Hopefully I've saved you a lot of effort getting towards all of these achievements. Okay, obtain all the whistles, all the items, blah, blah, blah. As a factory provider, the following duties count towards high-level full-party dungeons. Basically, all of them. So, which, the high-quality, high-level full-party duty achievements are the ones, for example, which get you the Paladin mount, get you the Warrior mount, and so on. And Party Finder. Party Finder is now basically as wide as Data Center wide. Okay. And then let's see, and it shows you how how basically to how to use it. You can password it, protect it. You can do it private, and so on. I'm sure it wouldn't surprise me if people set up private parties for selling runs like Merc runs or whatever, as if passwords are even needed. Um, but whatever. And then let me see. They said, "Wow, they're going into a lot of detail explaining this." Okay. Retainers will be able to obtain up to five of the following items from Botany Retainer Ventures. The number of obtained will vary upon will vary depending on the retainer's gathering rating. Okay. The items of which pets are temporarily disabled while mounted has been changed. Players some players. Pets will now be disabled immediately after using a mount will not reappear until the player has dismounted. Okay. So novice network has been adjusted. Players who have not played the game in 45 days or more or, and have at least one class or job at level 50 or above will now receive return a status. Okay, fair enough. Players can now invite qualifying offline friends and free company members to return and play the game during certain campaign periods. To send an invitation, blah, blah, blah. I've got like 200, 300 members of my FC I could probably use this on. And then Duty Finder and Ray Finder have been adjusted as follows. The status of Duty Finder will now appear in the Duty list. For PlayStation 3, the status will appear via a tooltip when 
selecting the duty list okay an icon will appear next to duties you have completed Tick. okay so it won't just be the um treasure symbol anymore there'll be a proper tick as well to say you've done it uh let's see so adjustments to the party and raid finder basically so text to auto advance function has been added for cut scenes pressing space bar or triangle during a cutscene will toggle text auto advance on or off an icon will be displayed indicating it is on okay so basically if you wanted to just scroll through at a decent pace by itself without having to click over and over again then you can do that but i don't know if this is reliable because i tend to read a little bit slower um so yeah following features have been added to group pose and idling camera okay and you can adjust your camera settings so when you're taking pictures basically you can add effects to the pictures the following features have been added to the idling camera so you can do dances and stuff like that group pose okay and lighting effects to the camera as well fitting room windows have been adjusted enable die preview okay gear slots icons for blah when previewing multiple pieces of gear you can uh, remove a single piece of gear from those being previewed this option cannot be used only preview one piece of gear enable blah 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 okay so you can basically use the fitting room now to try on a bunch of gear and not just a single piece which is good Holding control key while viewing the map will now prioritize the A for right icon over any nearby icons. Cool. Because that could that can be a problem sometimes. If especially if you have the map really zoomed out. Lots of icons got over the A for right. So they basically just hold control key and it will um, it will help. Doesn't apply to the mini map. Note that. So commands to improve the ease of organizing gear sets has been added to the gear set window. Okay, in the event character data for a player on your friend list link shell list or free player list cannot be found the message unable to retrieve will be displayed in place of their name okay in case i guess they deleted the character or whatever players can now set the following hotbar layouts via the character configuration interface okay cool so you can lay out your interface a bit more as you would like it to be it doesn't always have to just be like horizontal vertical like eight in a row um flying text for other players has been characterized as pop-up text which can be disabled in character configuration interface a search function has been added to the list of complete quests in the journal okay so the position of auto attack icon above the target bar has been moved to improve visibility okay and then hot bar hot bar hot bar so you can customize your hot bar more okay more commands the number of hairstyles shown at one time when creating characters has been increased okay that's good so that will give you just more options basically a message will now be displayed a character selection screen when a player character cannot be displayed due to server congestion a link of the official 514 instagram has been added to the launcher okay resolved issues read at your own leisure confirmed issues read at your own leisure new items i guess that lists all the new items basically that they spoke about above so yeah that's basically it guys that's 3.5 so thank you guys bye bye bye